Paul. The fair has been in full swing right here in St. Paul. Work on the Nicollet Mall in downtown Minneapolis has been picking up. Yeah, they're, uh, if you've walked down there recently, you know they are right in the middle of this big $50 million redesign plan on the mall. Construction crews are just a constant all up and down the mall. Right now, the focus of their work is on either side of 10th Street and Nicollet. And the work is uh, unfortunately close and popular summer restaurant patios, and it's slowed down business for many others. Here's WCCO's Jennifer Merrily. This has become the norm along Nicollet Mall. The noise has people covering their ears. It's been quite the process. Obviously, you have to take a little pain to get some gain. Joshua Petzl is the general manager of the local. Right now, clearly our section between 10th and Nicollet is, is probably taking it the hardest. The biggest challenge is noise. Construction is keeping people off the patio during parts of the day. You try and make them as attractive as you possibly can. You want to get your signage out on the sidewalk and make it as visible from, a, from as far a distance as possible. Across the mall, the newsroom lost part of its patio for work. The sidewalk is closed near Target. Buses are rerouted, and that's taken a toll on Dunn Brothers Coffee. I keep a close eye on my sales every day. Manager Armand Osmond says sales are down about 20 percent. He says the relocation of the farmer's market during construction, coupled with fewer big events this summer, <laughs> and less foot traffic because of the bus routes, force the business to close an hour earlier at 5. Closer to the end of the day, it would be people like catching buses, waiting for buses. You know, we've had to like fit in the same amount of work in a smaller time frame. The end result will give them all a new look, including more sidewalk space and room for pedestrians. Businesses say they're all in it together. The sooner it's done, the sooner we can all move forward. We're going to get... So they're actually going to start working on the street in 27 or in, uh, next year, and then yeah. hopefully they'll be done and have a big grand opening in 2017. So be patient. If you'd like to see a construction schedule, we have that at WCCO.com slash links.